Microsoft's been investing a lot of money into their first party studios and one of the key genres that they are really putting money behind is the RPG brand. We got stuff like the games that they got with Bethesda such as Elder Scrolls Fallout. We got Obsidian being purchased and we got the Fable franchise that's being made by Playground Games and it doesn't look like they're stopping there. It looks like Exile Entertainment, they're the people that made Wasteland, uh, most recently Wasteland 3. They're actually hiring for a lot of key positions and I want to talk about that. I want to talk about you know what this could mean what kind of games could they be making but you know before we get off the video definitely hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video you can always subscribe to the channel for weekly content and don't forget to follow me at twitter at lord addict iop without any further ado let's talk about exile entertainment What's going on you guys gaming out here? Today, we're gonna to be talking about Exile Entertainment. This studio definitely was one of the studios that Microsoft bought that I kind of scratched my head a little bit. I didn't really know the kind of quality games that they can make, but I got my hands on Wasteland 3. I'll put my review in the description below and I enjoyed the game. I thought it was a fantastic game and it was one of the best RPGs that we've had in a long time. It's the closest I'm ever gonna to have to an XCOM style gameplay to, you know, an RPG such as Skyrim or even Fallout. Out. and i was really excited to try that game out and i really enjoyed it but you know a lot of people don't like that type of gameplay and it does look like they're going away from that now i don't know if their entire studio is making this game but for right now it looks like that they are hiring for this game let's go over a little bit right now uh, after i go over some of the criteria that they have to becoming a part of the studio in this role then we'll go over exactly what i would like them to do and what type of rpg i would like them to make all right so let's go over right now one of the things that they are hiring for is an art director. Exile Entertainment is looking for a talented and experienced art director for a next-gen role-playing game. The ideal candidate will be passionate and creative innovator with experience leading and managing large art teams. Combined it with a proven track record in developing extraordinary visuals in modern RPGs and other games. Working directly with the game director and other st uh, stakeholders, so I'm assuming any other lead, uh, you know, leadership that's in the studio itself the art director is expected to set and maintain a high visual bar and then help a triple a art team on one of the studio's flagship titles this is a rare opportunity to help an extraordinary new world come to life in some of the uh industry's most well-known game makers and storytellers now first off i want to you know really point out some things in here one thing i want to point out is they did say a high visual bar so this isn't going to be a very you know average looking game the way it's looking on here they want this to be a huge very eye candy looking game now clearly depending on what art direction they go to some people still won't be happy because i feel like games like you know the immortals and games like uh you know zelda those are very nice looking games but if a certain people certain gamers look at those type of games they wouldn't like what they see because it's not the art style that they chose and they prefer to play and that's completely fair now one thing i want to point out here is they say flagship title that's kind of interesting too so they they have a lot going into this and it's going to be a triple a title now i do know this is going to be the unreal engine i don't think it's on here it's probably on here somewhere but let's go ahead and read a little bit more down on what the responsibilities would be if you work for this company so you need to have a proven experience in building and leading a large teams of triple a quality projects so you know they went over that a little bit up above so we don't have to go over that too much you have to have the skills and knowledge to carry to clearly communicate artistic direction coupled with the ability to help the team transform that direction into mind-blowing game visuals you have to comprehend understanding of next generation development techniques such as high fidelity modeling materials and shader pipelines and advanced lighting techniques so right there you see that they are go they're really focusing on next gen hardware you know particularly the xbox series x and the xbox series s they want to make sure that this game runs amazing on that platform and it looks as possibly as it can now like i said a lot of things can vary from what type of art direction they go what type of art in general that they want to look this game look like if they're going to go towards you know a series look like fallout or kind of like you know sea of thieves looking kind of art direction or maybe like in the middle like the outer 
world. So let's go ahead and continue. Uh, you gotta be able to help to create and validate asset creation pipeline for each discipline within the art department. So, you know, pretty much all of these, if you read here, it's, you know, it's clearly they're hiring for an art director. So that's clearly what the majority is gonna be. Now I'm gonna keep them on the screen. You guys can pause it and you can go over them yourself. Now, when it comes to this, I'm a huge fan of Exile Entertainment after I played Wasteland 3. Now I do think that Wasteland 3 is a niche type of gameplay that a lot of people don't play. I love that type of gameplay. XCOM is one of my favorite games of all time, but I do understand why it doesn't appeal to the massive audience and why they need to make a different type of, you know, RPG to appeal to that type of audience. I would appreciate if Microsoft would let a smaller team work on Wasteland 4 or work on a game like Wasteland, but I'm in the minority and I understand that. Now I do like down here, it does, it is going to be an Unreal Engine 4, so it is on here. And if you have to at least have five years of experience warping in a AAA game. So right here shows me that Microsoft really and truly supports this company. They respect this company and they know if they nurture this company, they're going to give them the kind of projects that they need. Now, as far as what they could be working on, you know, I would expect a wasteland type of environment where like not necessarily the gameplay, but more in types of, you know, post-apocalyptic nuke world. You guys know how they like to do things. They might go a different direction, but to me, I feel like they're going to try to stay a little bit in the same lane that they're currently in and they're not going to drastically do something different not like you know obsidian did with making fallout new vegas to the outer worlds those games are kind of built on the same foundation but they're completely different games so i expect wasteland to have that you know fallout type of universe now obviously it's not going to be fallout and you know speaking of fallout i, I do feel like you know they can make a really good fallout maybe after they make this game and you know the bethesda deal is completely dry the, you know, they've had plenty of time to figure out what they want to do with Bethesda and all their IPs. And if they haven't figured out something to do with the Fallout franchise, let Exile make the next Fallout games. Give them all the all the creative freedom to do whatever they want with the world. They originally created the Fallout franchise, so it would be kind of cool to see it go back to them because I know that they would, you know, really make that franchise shine. But at the end of the day, they are their own studio. Maybe they want to make something new, and I completely respect that. But anyway, tell me what you guys think. You think exile entertainment's gonna make you know that next fallout type of game would be crazy if obsidian makes the next skyrim type of game or elder scrolls in general and exile makes the next fallout type of game and those are the companies that pick up the reins and they do that spiritual successor stuff and they really do a good job on it and I, I have a lot of faith in this company we'll have to see exactly when we see more information on the game right now we don't even have a name uh this is probably an early development we're not going to see anything for at least two to three years but i'm curious but you know tell me what you guys think in the comment section below Put it down there. Tell me if you guys want this type of game or maybe you want something more of Wasteland because that's the last game you played for them. I'm very curious to see your op opinions down there in the comment section below. But this is Gaming Addict. I'm out of here. Peace.